Hello everyone. My presentation will be about the Beck Depression Inventory. This assessment was created by Aaron Beck, a psychologist for the Center of Cognitive Therapy. The Beck Depression Inventory is a 21-item self-report rating inventory that measures characteristics, attitudes, and symptoms of depression in persons aged 13 years and older. There are three versions of this test including the BDI-1, the BDI-1A, the BDI-2, and the BDI for primary care, now known as BDI Fast Screen for medical patients. The method of development. The original BDI assessment was based on clinical observations and patient description. The BDI-2 contains items that reflect the cognitive, affective, somatic, and vegetative symptoms of depression. The BDI-2, a revised version of the BDI-1A, was developed to correspond to DSM-5 criteria for diagnosing depressive disorders. Usage and population. Original BDI and subsequent versions have been widely accepted and used in psychology and psychiatry for assessing the intensity of depression in psychiatric and normal populations. Studies have been conducted in a variety of settings using medical populations. For example, Parkinson's disease patients, HIV, oncology units, cardiac patients, and etc. Here is a screenshot of how the questions look on the BDI inventory. There is a scoring scale at the end of each question um, where individuals can score their answers. The recall period for every item on the test is two weeks. So if someone was feeling any of these symptoms in the past two weeks, then they will check as to what severity. Here is the scoring guide I just discussed. So if someone was to score one to 10, these are ups and downs and are considered normal and not depressed. If someone were to score 31 to 40, they would be categorized with severe depression. And here is just a further breakdown of the scoring for the patient. Again, a normal range would be zero to 13. Mild depression would be 14 to 19, moderate would be 20 to 28, and severe would be 29 to 63. The method of administration, all a practitioner needs is a piece of paper and a pencil, and people can either take the test themselves and also score it themselves, or they can have it administered orally by a clinician. Training. So there is some very minimal training required for a paraprofessional to administer this test. A clinician needs to interpret the BDI score by paying particular attention to items endorsing self-harm or feelings of helplessness, such as suicide ideation, which is item nine, and hopelessness, item two. Now this part is very important for mental health clinicians because if someone was indicating self-harm, then they would need to do additional you know, mental health and status exams, suicide risk assessment to see where exactly their client is on that spectrum. Availability. Um, this assessment is, this is listed that it's not available to the public and only on personassessments.com, but I was able to find some PDF versions of this test. So it would just be up to the clinician which route they want to go to make this available to them. Endorsements. So the BDI-2 is one of three instruments endorsed by the National Institute for Mental Health and Clinical Excellence for use in primary care and measuring baseline depression, severity, and responsiveness to treatment. The strengths of this assessment are that it is time efficient, it's 
symbols to administer and score. It has psychometric properties, predictive ability. There are many translations available. It's used within many different populations. And assessment of symptoms and time frame of measurement correspond to DSM criteria. And here are some references to my presentation. I hope you all enjoyed and learned some useful information about the Beck Depression Inventory. Thank you for watching. Bye.